Hello, captains and commanders. Is I, Commander Ken, reporting in with a new inventory update. This is a complete overhaul of the old inventory system. We have a new tab up here for equipment. Weapons, offensive, defensive, support. So now each component is individually purchasable. This way, you can set up your ships however you want. Let's go ahead and buy some missile turrets. And as you complete more missions, you'll get access to new inventory items that you can purchase later on. Taking a look here at the new ship configuration menu, we used to have three presets over here that was quite limiting, so now instead we have a whole slot system, hard points of various sizes and status. So here are turrets, slots. As you can see, this is a medium cannon hardpoint. So we can equip the smaller light cannons in the medium slots, as well as unequip. And it'll just show right back up there in the inventory. And if we take off everything, you'll have a full listing of your equipment here per slot. So depending on what you're selecting, it'll show available equipment that can fit into that particular slot or hardpoint. So this small turret hardpoint can fit the missile turret, and that is what we just selected here. So it's sort of like a small omniport for uh, any type of turret weapon. Now, the primary weapons on the ships cannot be unequipped because that's part of the ship, so each class of ship will still have its unique weapon ability. Let's go back to the store here and pick up a couple more missile turrets. Put one on the bottom port here. Don't have anything there, so let's fill up the rest of these with our leftover low light cannons. sell some because we need a captain so we have two light missiles let's give that back sell and let's salvage some of our light turrets as well that should be enough no where are you pilot. Mm, any one of these could do uh, you go warping in So, as you can see, we are in our new customized ship. Let's take a look at it with the windows down. As you can see, we have our two regular turrets and our missile turret up in front, just as we configured. Let's take a look from the outside. Look at that beauty. So we have our turrets in the front, missiles, and lasers in the back. Parting the front, business in the back. So in skirmish mode, it's pretty much the same setup, except you have access to all of the available equipment that you find during your missions. So let's pull something up here. Let's go with the escort uh, frigate. No, no, nope, that's assault. Escort. There we go. If I can read. So. Let's take a look at the component uh, engine component, for example. We didn't have anything before, but if you look at it now, you see everything is available for purchase because it's not in the campaign, so you can mess around with it uh, and check it out in skirmish for anything that you find but can't buy. So let's deck this thing out to its full potential. throw that in there. Overall we have around 45 pieces of equipment and weapons, so quite a lot to play with. Everything from missile launchers to laser turrets and the random greebles for all the uh, individual ship equipments. 
Something else that I've been working on is adding battle damage from weapons that can be enabled inside the options. So if we turn that on, I can show you what that looks like. So let's get into third person perspective here. And basically, we have a new special effects shader that will deal burn damage, char damage, and as well as deform the mesh depending on where the ship is hit, if it's hit in the hull. So that adds a whole new layer of uh, immersion, as well as it just looks cool. So, as you can see, this uh, artillery cruiser here has been taking a beating. And it's being hit by lasers, so the hull is heating up. There's chunks being blown out of it. So, overall, pretty awesome. Now this does require a little bit more performance from the system, so that's why it's an option, so you, whether you're having trouble with it, you can toggle it on and off, depending on if you have a good graphics card. Especially with our uh, different level of detail, we had kind of have to do this like three or four times um, for the different versions. But still looks very cool. Warning, how damaged. Oh, also a small little effects change is when the ships target other ships, they actually target different components on the ship. So basically all the weapons don't just go for the center anymore. They'll try to spread it out across the uh, various pieces of equipment. It doesn't really do anything for gameplay, but it just looks a little bit more natural as far as uh, getting shot up. Because before everything was just kind of hitting the middle of it, and then the front and back um, weren't really being touched. Oh, lag spike right here. So yeah, depending... Well, I'm probably re because I'm recording, so... It's killing my computer. Nice screensaver! <laughs> but once Unity is not running and my video recording software isn't running, it should be a lot smoother. Warning. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this update, new inventory system, new special effects, and a lot of optimization changes. If you're interested in this project, please check out our website at battlegroupvr.com or wishlist us on Steam. We also have a Discord channel for anyone interested in alpha testing, uh, link in the description below. Please like and subscribe and share to any of your space-faring VR friends. That's going to be it for today. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next update. Commander Ken, signing off.